Well, Indiana business leaders are traveling the globe, working to grow the state's multi-billion dollar international trade economy. Indiana Secretary of Commerce David Rosenberg leading a delegation this week to Taipei uh, in Taiwan, very uh, uh, urban setting uh, they visited this week to strengthen Indiana's position in the semiconductor industry. Last year, the state did more than a billion and a half dollars worth of trade with Taiwan. Two big items on the IEDC agenda, attending the Semicon International Semiconductor event in Taipei and promoting Indiana's new IEDC office there. The trip to Southeast Asia comes on the heels of Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb's trip to Slovakia and Italy. And the Italian Grand Prix is underway. Lando Norris is looking at his teammate and he's got the launch that he needs. But Racing the name of the game in Italy. The governor and business delegation attending the F1 race in Monza. It's just like the Indy 500 in the sense that everybody goes to one place. And so it's you can be very efficient with your time, with, with the right folks at the table all throughout the morning and afternoon leading up to the big race. The group also visited Dolores Racing Headquarters in Italy, which has operations in one place outside the country, Speedway. Dolara, one of 35 Italian companies doing business in Indiana, all adding up to more than $5 billion in economic impact. We're very focused on the work in our uh, racing industry with companies like Delara, who have been so important to that, to our heritage um, and all the innovation that comes out of Delara, not just in the racing industry, but in aerospace and in defense. Strengthening Indiana's longstanding military ties with Slovakia, another big focus of the trip, one stop, marking the 80th anniversary of the Slovak national uprising against the Nazis. Indiana, the only state to do so in person. National security goes hand in glove with economic security and potential growth. And so to have the feel to ourselves, quite frankly, yeah. was a real advantage. It's a defense partnership with Slovakia that Indiana National Guard Adjutant General Dale Lyles describes as a major positive for the state. All the restricted and special use airspace we have at Camp Atterbury, the ability to use Camp Atterbury, and the ability to use our cyber range down in the Skattatuck. You team us up with Crane Naval Warfare Center, and we're a win-win. And after Slovakia, the governor went on to Ukraine, where he met with Ukraine's President Zelensky. Holcomb, the first U.S. governor to visit Ukraine since the Russian invasion in 2022.